Welcome back to Gaming with the Hackets. Okay, so... New update. Supposed to have fixed the ion chamber. Or, sorry, ion column. It's raining. Okay. So, apparently... They fixed the regenerative portion of the the ion exchange. So let's see if it's here. Okay. Fixed bug in the circulation of the primary circuit when the pumps are at a hundred percent speed. Apparently it was like fifty percent speed or something. Fix the bug in the thermostat of the pressurizer heaters. The heaters stopped heating when you turned thermostar off. Uh, fix bug in the absorption column when it continued to emit an operating sound. And then fix bug in the circulation pump oil meter. That doesn't say anything about fixing the ion column. But I digress. Let's try this and see what happens. So we're just going to... Bump this up to 50. And then I'm also going to turn on the filter. And I'm just going to do 100%. And then we're going to go to, to the chemical room and take a peek. Weird dark spot. Hello, core. We don't need you. Okay. That is working. This is working. So we are increasing concentration in the core. And we are also removing, let's see the efficiency, well the, sorry, the absorption capacity is going down. So we're just going to let this run for a bit, okay? I think it's clear that we have some reduction in absorption capacity, so we're going to turn this pump off. And now we're going to secure flow. Pump is still going. Could have sworn I just turned that off. Sure. <laughs> okay, we got our. Ooh. Hello. Got our sodium hydroxide lined up. Still don't know how that works. I don't know why that's still sound. Like it's still making noise. Thought they said they fixed that. Clearly not. Okay. Let's turn on the sodium hydroxide. Or the cleaning pump. I'm gonna go to fast speed. It's at fast speed. This is spinning, so... Clearly, it doesn't work. Maybe this will allow us to... 
put sodium hydroxide in the core. That'd be cool. Okay, so water can't flow unless the pump's on, so whatever. Literally nothing is happening. Okay, let's swap the valves. See if that still gives the same glitch. Where the pump runs dry. Sure does, so clearly it's not fixed. Maybe my game is not up to date, so we'll quit and then I'll uh, let's see. Completed yesterday at 2.07 p.m. So clearly it was up to date. Come back into it. I did want to look at something and I'll tell you a bit in a second. So boron, it's a poison. Do we actually need it to start up the reactor? If I start up the reactor and I get above 200 as quick as possible and I'm operating, is Xenon going to build up and choke my reactor if I don't have that boron that I don't know about and I'm gonna I'm gonna find out I don't know why I'm clicking that button I meant to click this button or lever <clears throat> all right so nominal mode New operating mode established. Nominal mode. oh you know what I don't care override attention security restrictions have been overridden can't even put it in that's ridiculous even with a, an override all right i'll just insert it uh this button here we go oh yep animation speed someone just mentioned that and I forgot again boop this is trippy I would not do this <laughs> you like whatever I'll just turn it on real quick so you guys don't ever have to it's terrible you like wobble back and forth I feel like I'm gonna have like a seizure or something. I'm running. Whoa. Um. I mean, when I run, I know that that doesn't happen to me. So I don't know. Maybe this guy's legs are broken or something. Okay, pressurizers on. We got this heating up. We got that on. Let's get some flow. Cool 50 percenter. Get the turbine. The reactor core coolant has started to circulate. A very nice. And we'll get the vacuum pump on. Start up our condenser, medium. Actually, let's go like 35. That always seems to be a decent amount. Uh, I'll just click this on slow for now.
Come on, vacuum. I was going to say, that better not be going up. Um, okay, whatever. Fill the condenser so I don't forget that. Somehow the core is not full. How? And voila, which is French for, and then I found it. Okay. Or maybe found out. Whatever the, whatever that quote is from Ready Player One. Okay, I can t t turn this off. Should coast right up in. All right, preparations are made. I think we're good. So I'm gonna do it fast. I'm not fooling around with this. We're gonna get above 200 and we're gonna see what happens. Sweet. That's what he says. He said it a couple times. Okay, let's see. It's a race. It's a race. Oh, boy. Will it get there before Xenon spikes? We're above 200. Xenon's going down. What? Never requested. Probably my steam generators though. Okay, let's go to 99. Ah, <laughs> uh, whoops. Oh, come on. Get in there. Yeah, I saved it from boiling dry. That's crazy. Oh God. Now it's shooting up. Um, yeah, we'll just do that for right now. Are we not making steam? Okay, we're going down. So we'll go to 58. And we've got a bus connection. That was clutch. That's going up. Vacuum pump off. Imagine that. That's crazy. Like... Everyone's saying you need the, the boron to counteract the xenon. And it seems like I still have to put the rods at the same height even if there was a set amount of boron. So, because normally, like, 99% is, you know, pretty good. This is supposed to get up to speed quicker and all this stuff. It seems like it's still slow, just like always. You can hold buttons. You know what happens when you hold buttons? You blow past stuff. And we're not there, but I'm closing the breaker.
We're not in sync. I got it. Look at that. Amazing. We're in sync now. Not the group, not the group from the nineties with Justin Timberlake. I guess this still doesn't seem right to me. I wonder if there's a glitch with these steam generators because usually it's like five to eight percent above and I'm right in the green band and now it's 16, oh, 17, more like 20% above and then I'm good. I don't know if it's just because of the heat influx. I mean, that's not really like anything crazy. I've seen 253 or whatever. So, yeah, not sure. But we're up. We're operating. Our reactor is just fine without boron, without adding acid to the the primary system to stainless steel or stainless steel variants. I don't know what kind of materials they're using, but probably some nickel chromium steel. Nickel's really good for corrosion resistance. So is chromium. And also nickel provides good wear resistance. Cobalt's a really uh, good metal for wear resistance, but there's adverse effects with cobalt. But sometimes, you know, you need something really strong. You just need that cobalt. Huzzah! Our reactor's operating. Now... I want to see what happens when you shut down the reactor. If xenon will spike and then you won't be able to shut down the reactor for a while, I wish this would like actually get up to operating temp. I mean, my reactivity is pretty high. Crushing it on the power. Nice. Making that money. You know what I'm saying? Three hundred four degrees. You know what? That's close enough. I'm shutting it down. If this was the Ghostbusters, I'd say don't shut it down. I'm warning you, if you shut it down, we won't be held responsible for what happens. Shutting it down would be like dropping a bomb in the middle of New York City. But this is just a nuclear reactor. So we'll put the, push the scram button, which should drop rods at faster than normal rod speed, but it looks like it just slowly inserts them like if I hit scram that'd be done dunsies so now we're gonna cool down I'll time warp I don't I don't know if it actually time warped okay there's the sound I'm going to open this. I still don't know what this does. I'm assuming it allows steam to go directly to the condenser. I could be wrong. I've been wrong on some of these things. Coolant is low. Well, not low, but lower than what I had. Uh, I don't know where it goes. It just disappears. Primary is supposed to be a nice, tight, closed system. 
the pumps don't have inter or external leakage so where's the water going we're not bleeding steam anywhere we don't have pressure relief valves which would be a great feature to add then you could definitely have some scenarios like three mile island happen where a relief valve would eventually get worn down if you keep exceeding the pressure sen setting and then the valve gets stuck open or has some debris in there that has it partially open and then you void your core basically and you had no idea and cause a meltdown that would be a great thing to put in here and this is why i hate single loop operation it takes so long if i push this will that will that kill my reactivity somehow emergency stop completed scram emergency stop scram energy distribution required nope didn't do anything oh god the generator is full Oh, God bless. Yeah, I know. The steam generator is hydro. Oh, man. Look at that go down like crazy. Yeah, we'll just turn the pump off. Okay, we'll put this on fast, maximize the flow. Got a leak. Where is it leaking? This makes no sense. Why are you doing this to me? I didn't destroy anything. Is it just cooling down so the water's, you know, bleeding out of the core? Not bleeding, but contracting? Where'd all the water go? I mean, granted, yeah, that's kind of a thing, but... Can try to do some feed and bleed, you know? Doesn't work very well. Hey, look at that. That's what I want to see. Xenon is spiked. So how long before the Xenon will come down? Do you have to go non-critical? We are less than 155, so we could eject the fuel. Attention. Security restrictions. Oh, okay. Don't do what I did. <laughs> How big is this radiation plume? Okay, well, it turns out it's got to be a lot less than 155. Um, if you're going to do that, wear a hazmat suit. Well, that just ruined the whole experiment now, didn't it? All right. I've got a better idea. No flow. Get it up and then we'll get flow. It sounds like a bad idea, but you know, whatever. It's not like we're gonna go crazy or something. I'm gonna put 100% flow and then I'm gonna do 100% here. This will get going because it shouldn't affect anything. I definitely want my pressurizer heaters on, which I should turn the panel on.
time warp. Once we get that, you know, bubble. It's not really a bubble, but see if we're if we're gonna say that the water is cooling down and that's why we lose level, then we should also hydro the system. Like your pressurizer level should go up and you should have to do a discharge, which, you know, not really a good way to do it other than open your core vent or something. I mean, I suppose maybe you could do the, no, that shouldn't work. Or maybe the, ah, oh, why am I even saying that? The release coolant valve, that would be an access, acceptable way, so. Okay, we got our bubble. Let's draw rods. Let's go to like, I don't know. We'll just do 80. We're just looking for... Danger alarm. Yeah, it's fine. The reactor has reached critical mass. I know. Low coolant. Ninety two hundred scram full flow. The reactor four coolant has started to circulate. Coming up, okay. Way too high. Yeah, we'll do 30. I'll open this like I always do. Alt. Makes it go fast. Okay, we're coming down. What's the temperature of our fuel? Oops, wrong button. Uh, alarms, filter. Okay, so we're at 161. Core says 155. That's probably what happened. Oh, that says 144. You think it would you think it would do it or no? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't Maybe I shouldn't be so uh impatient. But I do hate waiting for this. But there we go, we're cooling down. So now the random coolant that was there somehow didn't go anywhere when we heated up is now losing volume as we cool down we're like losing a lot the freight pump's not even doing anything what the heck overload how is it overloaded And it would do this sometimes, which is why I would open the release coolant valve. Now it's not overloaded. Now level's kind of going up and down at the same time. <laughs> ah, I hate this. And now it's going up. Okay. Wild. Hey, look, we're almost there. 
we're almost there. I could probably safely eject that now. But we're not going to do that. It's still blue. Therefore, power. Putting it in the cold liquid, even though it's relatively the same temperature. 20C is definitely like, you know, pretty close. <laughs> it's not going to cause something to rupture if I put 60 degrees into 20 degrees. Just so, so boring watching this. So now, this poses a good question for like maintenance shutdowns. How long do we have to wait before we can start up the reactor again? Or are we going to be stuck at this point? Or at this point, do I need to add boron? Should go non-reactive here shortly. There we go. Non-reactive. Okay, this shouldn't blow up. Thank God. Okay, so when's this going to come down? Or do I need to add boron to reduce xenon now? Which doesn't make sense because you can't get rid of xenon by adding boron. That's that's not what happens. The only way you can get xenon out of the core when you're shut down is to allow it to decay and it takes up to 72 hours to decay to uh, almost zero. Now you can start up, start up from a condition where you had xenon, but you have to account for that, and that will be affected in your your shim, like the v value of rods that you're going to pull out to. Now let's not go zero and. I mean, there is no fuel in the core, but... I know he said in the notes that AO has zero idea of anything with this, so... Let's see if it's been... No. There's nothing in here, so. Still stuck at max. Which pump is running? <laughs> Probably this one. Still going up, okay. Well, that's good, I'm not overloading it. Huh? I didn't add boron. Why does it say there's boron in the core? If I filter the boron out, is it going to reduce the xenon? I guess we'll see. This is running. I'm going to turn my pumps off. Oh, God bless. That's a big oopsie. Whatever. Should be all right. Never drew a vacuum because why? 
And I, I hate that there's no value on it. It is going down. What the deuce? <laughs> what? Why is my filtered boron going down when I'm at a hundred percent? Is it based on the amount of boron in the solution that it could even filter? So let's, let's paint this picture here. You have to shut down every five ish days, three, if you want to be like really safe. Especially if you're playing normal and auditing three is probably like 50% wear which so maybe like two days So every two days you have to filter out a ungodly amount of Boron from the core. Let's go look at the filtration capacity that we're at And see So we'll probably be at like 80% after this is fully filtered out. Granted, you know, once you get down to like, well, no, cause I mean, the last time we did it, we got pretty close to the red without the boron in there. Hmm. So we're already at sub 90. I'm going to have to report this. This just doesn't make sense. Why am I filtering boron out when I've never put boron in? <clears throat> Look at that tree. It's a powerful tree. Maybe it's a tree beard, you know? Maybe some of you won't get the reference, but... Wild. What the heck, man? This makes no sense whatsoever. Turn that bad boy off. We don't need it. So much stuff that's still on, so... Try to save a little power so we're not... Eh, that's close enough. I don't want to have to fill the, uh, the diesel while I'm doing this cheesy experiment. Why are you still on? Okay, well. Doesn't look like it, have, it has to be zero. But it does have to be near zero. Okay, we're at... We'll say zero xenon reactivity. So I'll stop this filter. And we're now at, I don't know, 600-ish. 600 parts per million boron. We never added boron. Let's see what our final absorption capacity is.
So maybe like 85. So that's a reduction in 15% every shutdown. If that's every two days that you shut down so you can keep on top of everything. I mean, let's do some math. Six, six cycles of that. So 12 days of operation, that's not enough. Granted, uh, you know, my max is like 14 continuous and then I've started new files. So, well, we've proven that we don't need boron to start up the reactor. Zero impact on steady state operations above 200 degrees. We've also proven that when you shut down the reactor, xenon reactivity spikes, but in reality, what happened was boron somehow got inserted to the core and then you have to clean that up. So that doesn't make sense either. So xenon should be its own entity. There should be no relation to boron and it should reach maximums during steady state operations. If you have enough power, it should go up eventually, three hours. If you go down in power, so say the people want less, then your xenon should go to a new lower peak at six hours. And then when you shut down, it should spike at nine hours and then 72 hours it should decay. We shouldn't be adding boron to make up for the xenon reactivity. It doesn't even make sense. And also, why do I need to add the boron at all? Like, there's literally no point in adding the boron. I can't co chemically shut down the reactor. It doesn't. It doesn't balance out the xenon reactivity. The xenon reactivity doesn't even occur until you're starting up below 200 degrees, and then when you cool down below 200 degrees. So, there's really no point in adding boron or even having this boron update at all. Boron should be used only for chemically shutting down the reactor, and they should give us a different set of chemical treatment, some sort of base. You can Google pressurized water reactors in the base they add. It's ammonia, and that's straight off Google. And that maintains a basic pH, which reduces the corrosion rate inside the primary. Temperature goes up. What happens to corrosion rate? It goes up. So what do you need to do? You need to add something to preserve the metal. Metals do well with base. It produces less uh, corrosion per unit time and will, uh, you know, last, make your core last longer. So when the chemical update came out, I was really hoping for some sort of pH control, some actual chemistry for reactors besides boron and a fission product poison xenon. So when this update came out, I was actually pretty upset that that's what I was given. I mean, props to the guy for like doing all these calculations and putting all this stuff in. I know that's a lot of work. I've done very basic programming and it it is hard to do. So I'm not saying that, you know, he didn't put a lot of work into it, but I just think that there's other chemicals that we should be given that are more beneficial and make more sense when we're talking about reactors than boron which is used to absorb excess reactivity when basically when you start up a fresh reactor that's been loaded with a lot of fuel you have a lot of excess reactivity so yeah that helps even out the flux distribution across the core and makes fuel burn out longer so that, you know, that's fine, having it for that. But I don't, I don't really think it's necessary to even add it until, say, we had a scenario where a reactor ran away, the reaction 
something happened, control rods get stuck, I don't know, you operated too long, you can't insert rods, and you need to chem chemically shut down the reactor, then we should be given the option to add boron, and it should be at a much quicker rate than 50 grams per minute, because when I was trying to do this, I literally sat there for 30 minutes trying to get this boron to come up to a point, like, its maximum, and I got an overload, but then it eventually kept going up, so... But I never... My reactivity never got sub-9, so... That that aspect of the boron doesn't even work either, so... I don't know. This is a huge, great... You know, fest. I don't want to use naughty words, but... Try to keep it semi-PG. But yeah. Anyways... Clearly some issues with this update that still need to be worked out. While I am thankful for the new features, I just don't think they're ready to be implemented. And they just add more detriments to the game than positives. The fact that I can't clean up my resin column, the xenon doesn't actually operate like xenon, Adding boron to counteract xenon, which I don't even have to do. Shutting down the reactor, the xenon spikes, which is really boron. All that stuff just, it, it doesn't make me want to use the chemical features at all. Like, there's no point. It doesn't, it just complicates operations. You have to think of more steps. And the game was fine the way it was without the xenon and the boron. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about this apparent glitch or miscalculation or something. I gotta run. I gotta go get some food. I don't even know if I'll make it. So, anyways, guys, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. You know, especially if this is your kind of content. I do play Pal World as well, but you know. This is kind of my, my bread and butter playing uh, this reactor simulator. Although I am kind of running out of things to do. I suppose I could start a... Well, I'll just continue my old file without this chemical update because, you know, I don't want to be shutting down and <laughs> have zero way to clean up this this boron filter because every time I shut down boron magically gets in my system so yeah I'll check you guys later thanks for watching